Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. That's what really, really counts. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. You know, I hope it is fucking hard. I hope it's so fucking hard that no one can do it. That way, when I do do it, I'm that much more ahead of everybody. I want it so fucking hard to be so hard and so challenging that when I get it, man, I reap all the reward. It's so much easier to beat everyone else because most people are overweight, they're distracted, they're poor, they have so few skills because it has never been easier to start a business, to make money, to get in shape. It's just also never been easier to do nothing. I'm not good enough, smart enough. I'm not talented enough to do that. Some people are. Some people can start at one. Some people don't have to start at all. But if you come here, don't complain. Mm. You want to become best. You want to become champion. And now you want to say like you're tired. Who cares? You're tired or not? Nobody cares about you. If you lack talent, you can't sit back and say, I start in half an hour. I can't do that. I gotta start now. What used to make a man acceptable now makes you extraordinary. The bar for winning has never been so low. So you want to be normal. So you just want to be like everybody else that roams the world, not knowing the power that's in them. Being fine with being mediocre. You want to go back to who you were, huh, David? I'm like, fuck that, man. Nobody cares, you know? At the end of the day, nobody cares. What we're going through, how your body feels, nobody cares. We got we to gotta do our job. And uh, we, we emphasize that to each other again today. Do you think people really care? That's bullshit. <laughs> In the end, nobody cares, right? So live your life and don't worry about bullshit like that. Nobody cares. He was tired, he had personal problems, family Nobody cares. You don't know, like, you just see how he fight and he go. Yeah. And for this one, you have to train so hard. If you don't want, call us. Somebody go else. back, go yeah. back to Dagestan. Nobody gonna ask about yourself. You know, hey, I got your back, you got mine. Nobody cares, man, we gotta go. And before practice, during practice, after practice, you know, we're, we're always just trying to push whoever's listening. That, is it fair? No. All those bad days and all those days you don't want to do shit, you have to be your own motivator, your own coach, your own, your own trainer, your own everything. There is no fucking life hack. To grow that thing, how do you grow it? Do it and do it and do it and do it. But if you're not a little bit afraid, at least three or four nights a week, you're not trying hard enough. If you're not falling in your face over and over again, if you're not trembling when you go to sleep with your heart pounding, if then what is happening is you're not trying hard enough. You're living too far within your potential. That all really successful people live on the outside edge of what they're capable of. And it's always a little bit scary on the outside edge because we all have feelings of uncertainty. We all have fears. We all have doubts that hold us back. But the brave person is simply the person who moves forward and keeps taking the chance. Controversial take. You really can solve a lot of male problems by getting in shape and making money. You still have problems. They're just smaller and you have more resources to handle them. The world is there for the taking for anyone who can learn from their mistakes, do what they say they were going to do and stick with it, even if it's not sexy. I have 24 hours. Like Oprah only has 24. Yeah. Bill Gates only has 24. Like Warren Buffett only has 24 hours. And in that 24 hour period, I can either break my life or make my life. You six day, you work so hard. Of course, you're gonna tire it. Mm. Tomorrow rest and Monday, we're gonna begin one more training. Mm. If you don't want, go back to Dagestan and stay with your mom. Mm. She's gonna give you every day good breakfast. Yeah. You don't do nothing. You gotta have an unlimited supply of fucking fuck you. This drive and passion, and it, and it may come from nothing. Like for me, there was no passion, no drive, no nothing. But I had this fire that I'm gonna be somebody. It's the way life is, though. If you make up a list the day before of what you have to do, you wake up in the morning and you just go, hey, okay, today I gotta like take care of my laundry. I gotta work out at nine. 
I got to make myself breakfast. I got to take my shake. I got to call these people back. I have to go pick up my clean, uh, dry cleaners. And, and if you make your day like that, you're not wasting your life. If you had to create a human, what would you put them through to make them tough? It probably wouldn't be a really chill life. What would you put them through to make them patient? You probably wouldn't give them things immediately. And so it's like, we want these traits, but each of the traits has a price tag attached to it. And it's just like, do you want to pay the price tag to get the thing? That if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or gold, sickness or pain or body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want. You've spent a lot of time alone. What yes. is something that you learned about yourself through your process or your journey? I learned I was leaving a lot on the table. And that's what scares me the most. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good now, but what haunts me is that at 24 years old, I was 300 pounds. And if I didn't make a right turn, if I decided to just give in to the feelings I had, I would have died a three or 400 pound man working some minimum wage job in my casket, never knowing that I was this guy. Don't look fun. Don't look fun. So it's a choice that people have to make in life. But what's so funny about it is even the richest of rich who have everything, they always ask me this question. I feel like I'm missing something. And all of that noise is gone. It's quiet. And it's you against you. And now all those endorphins are gone. And I promise you, made by getting up early and getting after it to go lose weight, study harder, guess what? It's a lot fucking harder now. That repetition becomes a lot harder now. You find it in the suck. You find it in the suck, and you find it repeatedly in the suck to the point where you know exactly who you are. Most people are missing something because they don't know who they are. I mean, it's been a struggle some days, I won't lie. Some days I'm like, man, this is... This is tiring, this is hard. Um, now I embrace the hard, and I, I want that every single day. I don't ever want anything to be easy. I think whenever it's hard, like you really, really, really deserved it. If it's hard and you get it done, you like you gave everything to it, that's yours. Nobody can take that from you. They call the four o'clock in the morning courage. Wait when things go completely to pieces, when things are the worst, when your very best deal falls apart and your rent is late and you're tired and you're sick and everybody is mad at you and your car doesn't work, then it's the person that picks themselves up and says nothing is going to stop me. 19 years ago, 300 pounds, I was spraying for cockroaches. I made a decision to try to be a Navy SEAL. My whole goal was to go on this path every day after work and to run a mile to mile and a half. This rock was about the .5 mark in my run. This rock was a moment that should have broken me. I got 0.5 into it, I weighed 297 pounds, I sat on this rock and I had a decision to make. I wanted to quit, I wanted to give up. So many people, they need to have a 5K, a 10K. I need to have a, 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 a course in front of me. I need to have something in front of me for me to get my fucking ass up and do some shit. And that used to be me. And nowadays, you know, shit for the past 20 some years, I don't need fucking purpose. And people miss out on this, man. The purpose, we're all looking for this golden purpose. Is it this, is it that, is it making money? It, is, is it my family? Motherfucker, the purpose is you. There wasn't some inspirational quote. There wasn't some, there wasn't nothing. It was me, myself, and it was freezing out here. I had to make a decision. The decision I make was to get up and keep on going. That one moment changed the rest of my life. Every fucking day I wake up and I don't want to do some fucking shit, I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to 
not want to do it, but still do it. Miami Fitness, early in the morning. Most people are sleeping right now because it's dreary. You know, if you look at 365 days of the year, a good third of them are dreary. One third of your opportunity to become something this year. You're gonna let it pass by? You're gonna get the fuck out of bed and make it happen. You might think that bed's warm. It feels all comfortable. You come here, you kill it. Give it everything you have, leave it all here. The warmth you feel after that, second to none. I think most people have the potential to be exceptional. And I th because most people are peculiar in their own way. They just stifle that because they want to be accepted by most people, but in so doing, never accomplish what they want to do because they conform. Sun don't stop for nobody, man. Sun don't fucking stop. Sun gonna be up in the morning regardless. That sun is gonna be up in the morning regardless. Regardless of how I fucking feel and how depressed I am, the sun is gonna fucking shine in the morning and at nighttime, the moon gonna be there and you gonna look up, these days gonna keep going by. So do you let the days go by and look up and you done wasted a year doing what? Or do you just pick it up? All right, figure it out, made some mistakes, life goes on. Let me figure out life from this point.